Hey, what's up? We're going to go over the lesson portion of the section right triangle trigonometry. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you see here, we have six trig functions. The three main ones are sine, cosine, and tangent. Each of these three have a reciprocal version of itself. Reciprocal means that the numerator and denominator are flipped like that. Not negative, not inverse, it's reciprocal. So sine's reciprocal, this might be confusing because there's secant here. Sine's reciprocal is not secant, not the one that starts with an S, but the one that starts with a C. It's kind of reverse. So sine's reciprocal is cosecant, and cosine's reciprocal is secant. So if you see sine, this is something that you're going to have to memorize here. Sine of the angle theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So if that's the case, cosecant theta will be its reciprocal equal to hypotenuse over opposite. You see? And all of these follow the same reciprocal rule. So really, you just have to memorize these three, and then these ones will fall into place. All right? So let's take a look at cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. I highly re uh, recommend making some flashcards for this. However, there's a really kind of popular uh, acronym in order to memorize this called SOKATOA. Kind of sounds like some Native American chant. SOKATOA is the abbreviation for so if you see sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, that's going to use the letters S, O, and H. You see that? So, okay? So, cosine is going to be cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Ka, ka. So, ka. And then you guessed it, TOA is going to be tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay. So if you remember, memorize SOCA TOA, then you'll know that as sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent of the angle is opposite over adjacent, and then their reciprocal counterparts will be the reciprocal of those. So if you were able to write these three down and you produce cosecant, secant, cotangent, you would just flip these to produce these three, okay? You might ask, what the heck is adjacent hypotenuse and, um, what am I missing? Uh, adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse, the three sides of a right triangle, okay? Sokotoa can only be used for a right triangle. There are non-right triangles. A right triangle is a triangle that has one 90-degree side. So drawn here, you see you have a triangle, and this can be oriented any which way. One of the three angles has to be a right angle. And you can just place an angle theta... Uh, anywhere, any any which one of these two corners here. So if we leave the theta in this bottom right corner here, let's try and figure out which sides are hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. Hypotenuse is always going to be the longest leg, regardless of where this theta is. It's the longest leg, and it's also the one across from the 90 degree. Okay? That's hypotenuse, the H. The opposite is going to be the side opposite of the angle that we're analyzing. Opposite. Okay? The adjacent is the remaining side. Adjacent means next to. Even though you have this leg and this leg kind of both next to, this one's taken up by the hypotenuse already, so adjacent is going to be this side. So for example, 
if you wanted to find the sine of this angle, it's going to be so. This opposite length, let's give that a length of 5, opposite over hypotenuse. Let's give this a length of 9. It would be sine of theta equals 5 over 9. And that's how you use Sokotoa. See you in the next one.